the new pad interface is introduced in the Sample Tank 3.3 update. This new interface provides you with a whole new approach to Sample Tank. The interface is perfectly matched with the iRig Pads hardware controller from IK Multimedia, but it also works great with any MIDI controller. Click the new pad icon at the top left of Sample Tank. The pad interface is especially well designed for working with grooves, both with Sample Tank's MIDI patterns and its audio loop instruments. We'll use iRig Pads as a controller to demonstrate the pad interface. Click the pad icon in the lower bar to enable iRig Pads full integration. This instantly sets up iRig Pads to optimally control Sample Tank 3. Then, not only does the pad interface mirror the actions of iRig Pads, but the actual iRig Pads unit lights up to reflect what's happening in Sample Tank 3. You can also use other external MIDI controller hardware units to remotely control various functions in Sample Tank 3. To do this, open Settings and assign MIDI Continuous Controllers in the Remote tab. Let's load one of the multis from the new groove-oriented sound library, The Grid. As you can see, there are different instruments and patterns loaded into each of the 16 parts. Each pad corresponds to a part in this multi. The currently selected pad shows the instruments and patterns for the part in the center column. The column changes when you select a new pad. You can assign more than one pad to a single part if you prefer by clicking and dragging the part selector at the upper left of each pad or from the drop-down menu in the center column. You can also change the MIDI channel for each part in the Channel drop-down menu. The idea here is to set up each pad with its own groove. The groove can either be an audio loop instrument, such as the EDM construction kit on pad 12, or it can be a standard Sample Tank 3 instrument with a MIDI pattern loaded, such as the EDM drum kit loaded on pad 1. Note that you can have the same instrument on several different pads, but with a different pattern assigned. You can have several different pads control the same part, but if you use different parts for each pad, even with the same instrument loaded, then you get five unique plugin effects for each individual pad. For example, both Pad 1 and Pad 5 have the EDM Drum Kit 1 instrument loaded, but Pad 1 is dry and punchy for the kick drum, and Pad 5 is wet and lush for the clap sound. The next drop-down menu sets the MIDI note that the pad will send. In this case, the MIDI note is triggering a pattern that has been assigned to C0. C0 is the default starting note for loaded patterns when you double-click them from the browser, so you'll also see it as the default starting note here. Each pad in this example multi has just one pattern loaded, so all of the pads are assigned to C0. If you want to change the assigned MIDI note, you can do it from the drop-down menu in the center column or on the pad itself by clicking and dragging. Next, the center column shows you the instrument that's loaded into the part assigned to the pad. To load a new instrument into the part, just double-click the instrument you want from the browser on the left, the same as you do outside the pad interface. The next drop-down menu shows you the patterns loaded into the part. If you like, you can load multiple patterns into each part, just as you can outside the pad interface, either by double-clicking the pattern name in the browser on the left, or by dragging the pattern onto the key of your choice. All loaded patterns will appear in the drop-down menu in the center column. Since patterns are always assigned to MIDI notes in Sample Tank 3, the pattern you select in the drop-down menu will also change the MIDI note of the pad. The next drop-down menu lets you select the musical key or transposition value of the pattern. If the loaded instrument is a drum or loop instrument, this value will be displayed in semitones to indicate the note shift amount. If the loaded instrument is a pitched or melodic instrument, like a bass or a piano, then the value will be displayed in the actual musical key of the pattern, along with the transposition amount in semitones. The Quantize menu lets you re-quantize the selected pattern to simplify it or add swing to the pattern. Then below that are the volume and pan controls for the part, along with the mute and solo buttons. Changes made here will also be reflected on the same controls on the mix and edit pages. The bottom row of the center column adds two new parameters that are essential to groove performance. Launch determines when a pattern or audio loop will begin relative to other grooves that are already playing. This keeps your grooves perfectly in sync with each other. Choose Bar, 
half bar, or beat to set when the pattern or audio loop will launch while other grooves are playing. For example, if you select bar, you can launch the new groove just a fraction of a second after the current bar line, and then Sample Tank will wait until the start of the next bar to actually begin the groove. Otherwise, your newly added groove would have sounded late against the currently playing grooves. To shorten this launch window, choose half bar or beat. If you want free control of launching your patterns and loop instruments, then set the launch parameter to off. The second parameter here is the launch mode. This lets you set how the pad will play the assigned pattern or audio loop. The default is hold, meaning that the groove will play only as long as you hold the pad and then stop when you release the pad. This is just like holding down a key on a keyboard controller. When you set the mode to latch, the groove starts playing when you press or tap the pad the first time, and it continues playing until you hit the pad a second time. The third option is one shot. This works like latch, where you start the groove with a single tap of the pad, but the pattern or audio loop will only play through once and then stop, rather than continuing to loop as it does in latch mode. Finally, the pad interface also gives you control over Sample Tank's global play feature. For each pad, you can select which pattern or audio loop will launch when you start the global play. This way you can launch many grooves at once to get your performance going in a dramatic and spectacular way. In the Pattern Loop drop-down menu, simply click the Play icon to set whether that pad's groove will launch when Global Play is activated.